Okay, so uh, shall we just carry on with a topic for uh, serial communication? Eh? Now, why is it serial communication is still important? Okay, we are still using a lot. Uh, you know, uh, in the good old days, when y'all, uh, I think many of you probably did not use. Uh, y'all use, uh, y'all all nowadays, all at home, y'all use broadband router and those kind of things, very advanced stuff. Uh. In the old days, uh, when we use modem, I don't know whether y'all were then at the era. Uh, I mean, for me at least, uh, we got those dial up for them when you when you try to connect uh, then you hear this uh, ringing sound right oh that's it for your house telephone right? yeah 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 correct yeah, yeah, yeah. the house telephone yeah. that, wow, that was a long time you want to download a file uh, probably you can go shower have dinner come back it's still downloading <laughs> <laughs> okay those were the days of the era okay those, okay so basically for serial communication uh somehow it's still being used uh, these days there are still some stuff that are left behind and still being used for serial call, especially for the industry. Yeah. Okay, some of the communication because it's cheap. Uh, one of the factor is that it's low cost and it's very easy to kind of uh, use it. There are still some being used uh, on PC and instruments. So today we're going to try on uh, communicating with one of the instruments. There's a bench top instrument in front of you. If you see carefully, there's a there's a bench top uh, 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 instrument, uh, measurement instrument, and where you can measure voltage, current, ohms, and so on. Eh. All right. So uh, okay, so that's uh, something that we can use uh, left view to communicate eh, with this uh, instrument, which is very useful. Right, we can program it. Eh. Okay. Now, so let me start with giving this thing called the ASCII code. Eh. ASCII stands for American Standard Code of Information Interchange. Eh? Okay, you can actually Google this thing and find out. Actually, what it does is that it's basically a set of codes uh, that is used for communication. You see, nowadays uh, there are so many uh, equipment manufacturer, right? Even computer itself, there are so many brands, right? Okay, and then you have tablets and so on. Eh? So if every uh, manufacturer uh, builds something that is not unique, uh, that means PC to PC cannot talk to each other, right? Because if you build your own standard, then I build my own. Uh. Everybody is different, right? Then how, how, do, how do we have a com proper communication? So you must have a standard, right? Everybody follows. Let's say if I want to communicate, okay, one computer to another, so I need to use this thing called a, it's a, it's a standard code, called the ASCII, yeah? Okay, so for example, how to read all, this, all these characters, right? You can see all has meanings, uh, you can see. Let's say if I want to read the character A, uh, okay, what, what would I do? Uh? Okay, I would read the row, then followed by the column. Uh. So in fact, character A, if I may write it here, uh, A uh, is equivalent to uh, text 41. Uh. Okay, the reason why I put the dollar sign here to, to represent is hexadecimal. Okay. You understand me? So it's 41 hex. So actually when I when I communicate, if I want to transmit the character A to you, let's say I'm a PC A, you're a PC B, or I'm PC1, you're PC2. So I talk to you, right? I want to send you this character A. I actually send you 41 hex. Okay? But you will have to take the number 41 and you refer back to this table. Oh actually you send me the character A. Okay? You see what I mean? So that is the whole idea. So of course, another example, let's say if I want to transmit the small A, uh, character, lowercase, lowercase, uppercase different, uh. so the lowercase A will be represented by 6, 1, right? So it will be 61 hex. Okay, another example, a small A represented by 61. Eh. Remember the dollar sign just to say that it's hexa, that's all, that's all. Okay? So you can see that the whole that this table is not exhaustive, uh, it's not the whole, there's a whole list of they are just showing you one part of it. Okay, and then there are things like end of line and carriage return and other stuff. Okay. So now in order to transmit a character, uh, what happened is that they will have to uh, com com because you know when you transmit, you are transmitting bits. Uh, zeros and ones eh. you all know binary bits right so for example i think nowadays people don't send postcards uh, or christmas card at least i still do uh. i mean some of you, i think many of you don't uh. you send christmas card to your friend right maybe overseas so what do you need to do in your card you will write your greeting card right then you need an envelope right then beside the envelope what else eh? you need a stamp right then of course you need to put the recipient's uh, 
the address and where to send to. You know, the postman won't know where to send, right? So same thing, if you want to communicate, you want to transmit data, right? Okay, first thing first, besides these 8 bits, for example, your data can be 8 bits. Uh, 8 bit data. No one byte is 8 bits of, 8 bits of data. Uh. So if I want to transmit an 8 bit data, I just, I need to do something else. Like what I say, the postcard example. I need to put stamp, I need to write the person's name and so on. So now what you see is that this character, there are 8 bits, right? Now, in, in, in addition to these 8 bits, uh, okay, uh, I need to pack it with other things, like a start bit. Eh. Okay, I need to have a start bit. You know, when you transmit, I don't know is it, what, is, where, what is the start, where is the data. Eh? So you need to pack in a start bit. Okay, you need to have a stop bit. Okay, and then also there's this thing called the parity bit. Eh. Parity bit is an error checking bit. Eh. Okay, for your information, uh, here, right in here. Okay, parity bit means it's an error checking bit. Parity uh, means it's an error checking. Okay, error checking bit. Okay, I'll explain to you later eh, what is this uh, parity bit. Okay, so for example, if I want to transmit this character C, okay, it has this binary number. On means it's one. Okay, off means it's zero. Okay, LSB means the least significant bit, MSB is the most significant bit. Eh. So for instance, this character C has this binary number, 11000010. Eh. Alright, so that is the, if you want to uh, use this character. Now what I need you to do now, I'm going to pause this recording for a moment. Now, can I ask you to open up your, just not the program eh, that I ask you to do it. Eh. You don't have to build up. Huh? Okay, this program here. Yeah, okay, now what, what I need you to do is if you look at your lab, lab 6, huh? second page. Huh? Page 2, right? This one, huh? your lab sheet page 2. Okay, now there's a part that asks you to fill in the, the details. Huh? What is the ASCII code? Okay, and then what is the binary pattern? Uh, the lab sheet is at the back huh? if you have not gotten a copy. Okay, so what I need you to do is to fill this, fill this up using this program to help you. It's quite simple. So for example, if I type in the character C, uh, let me demonstrate. Okay, if I type in the character C, uppercase, uh, and I click run, right? Okay, you notice that it gives me the data. Okay, so you can see that over here very clearly. I type the character C, I hit the run button, I get the respected output. <coughs> So C has this binary pattern. This is the code in ASCII. Remember just now A was 41, right? I told you A was 41. So B is 42, C is 43. ASCII. Okay, now this is the decimal equivalent of this number. So I need you to write it down on this table here. So you fill in the other character. So you have a lowercase C, put it here. Type in a 9, put in a plus, put a P. So you just record this thing and also the binary pattern. Can we do that first? Yes, please. Uh, both. You can put both. Uh. You can put bracket. You put, I know there's one, uh, but you can put beside it uh, the decimal equivalent. You can put a slash. Uh, dollar 43, then actually 67. Slash 67. So you write both. Uh. Oh, I know. <coughs> I want you to write both la, on the same. That's the one. You all write this one? Uh, don't have this one. Okay, never mind. Then you write this one first. Eh? 